What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new operating system from the creator of Chimera OS. It's called Cassetta and it translates to cartridge. And that's where this gaming operating system gets really interesting. I'm just using a regular old mini PC. I could have used any PC. I just had this one already ready to go. And you might notice I've got a few what look like cartridges on the table. Basically, these are SD cards that I've set up using their step-by-step -step process over on their GitHub, and each one of them contains a game. And as you can see, we can now select play on the main menu. Give it a bit to start. And there we have it. The games need to be DRM free, and for the most part, I've actually used a lot of stuff from Steam that was already DRM free. But I've got one 3D game that I wanted to show off by the end here I had to get from my GOG collection. But I do think that this is a really awesome concept. And just moving in a bit closer, I've got some regular SD cards here. I've printed out a few labels, just kind of pasted them right on the front. Nothing super special. I mean, you could go really fancy with it. This is a Geekcom mini PC powered by a little Ryzen chip. And I've got the operating system actually running from the USB drive in the rear. I didn't want to take up any internal storage because it's such a lightweight operation operating system. I'll leave a link for the website in the description, but there's lots of great information over here. Now you can see pure gaming. Uh, this is kind of the main purpose, creating your own car. And you can do this with a USB drive if you want to. I just personally like the idea of these SD cards. Uh, zero setup, direct to gameplay, and as soon as you plug this in, if you boot it up, let's say a card that you've already got set up, it'll boot directly into the game for you. Moving down a bit, create, collect, play. It's a pretty cool concept. Definitely needs a little more work with a few things here and there. Full safe management. AAA indie games, modern hits, old classics. They have to be DRM free. Some of your Steam games are already DRM free. Uh, GOG is kind of the place to get the stuff. So if you purchase the game on GOG, it's DRM free. And more than likely, you'll be able to play it over here. They've got a Discord. And if we head over to the docs, this gives us everything we need to know about the operating system, how to get it set up. And if you want to get your first cart going, they've got a simple cart set up right here for Celeste 64. So you could go with that if you want to, pretty easy to do. And since this is a Linux operating system, if you wanted to run a Windows game, it is going to use Proton. So you need the Proton files, which are here for download over on the GitHub. And you're going to install this like you would any other Linux operating system. So for me, I installed it on a USB drive from a USB drive so I didn't take up any internal storage because I'm not going to be storing a lot. I didn't want a one terabyte drive in the system when I'm basically running everything off of SD cards. Moving over to my little setup, this is the main menu. And as you can see, play is grayed out right now. And that's because I don't have a cartridge uh, plugged in or a USB drive with a game on it. As soon as I do that, we can select play, but we've also got the data up top. This is gonna be our save management. I've already tested a few games, but with a couple of them, I didn't add any icons. Once you do that, it will show up here. It's just really easy to navigate. You can delete that save directly from here. And over on the GitHub, the developer does mention that there's a tool in the works to easily get games over to your media, be it an SD card, USB drive, however you wanna do this. And as soon as that's ready and posted over there, it's gonna make it a lot easier for everybody to get up and running. Retro gaming is also mentioned, but uh, you do need to add the emulator file. So there's still some work that needs to go in here. But what we've got so far is actually a really awesome little concept. I personally love what's going on here. And there were a couple games that I couldn't get running right now, like Doom 3. I know it's DRM free, at least the version that I have, but it just wouldn't work for me. I tried several times. And I couldn't find a way to get a wireless Xbox controller working, but my 8-Bitto Ultimate controller did work with the adapter, so I've just got it plugged into one of the free USB ports around back, and that worked right out of the box. What you've been seeing so far are easy to run, mainly 2D indie games, but I was able to get Fallout 4 working, at least the GOG version. And to get this working, I'm running it from a 128 gigabyte SD card, I did have to install it on my main PC first. I couldn't just run the EXE here. I also had to modify the INI file for the settings I wanted to use here because when I started it up, it was already kind of preset. It was a little bit laggy on this PC. So I just went down to 720p low settings with this game using the INI. Still a little choppy, but that's kind of a given. I mean, we're working with the lower end mini PC here. I'm sure in the future we might see better performance. And as soon as more people get their hands on this operating system, start messing with it, 
we'll see a bunch of games running on different systems with different hardware specs for sure. So again, I do think that this is a really interesting concept. It's definitely not going to be for everybody. And I will do a tutorial on this as soon as that tool's ready, because it's just going to make it much easier for people to get their games over to their media. But if you want to try it right now, you can follow the instructions over on GitHub, and I'll leave a link for that, plus their official website down in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Is this something you're interested in? Are you going to test it out? Are you going to skip it completely, go with something else? Let us know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.